We'll call our meeting to order. It is 5.30. It's good to see you on this kind of drizzly, dreary Monday afternoon. I do want to remind you that this meeting is our City Council workshop. The only item that we'll be voting on this evening is the approval of the agenda. All the other items will be for discussion only, and we'll be voting on those at our regular meeting on the third Monday of the month, which this month will be April the 17th at 5.30 in this room. We do have agendas on the um, podium back here, so if you'd like to grab one and follow along, you're certainly welcome to. So gentlemen, you have the agenda before you, so I'll call for an approval of the agenda or any changes to be made. Move to approve. Okay. Second. All right, so we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, thank you very much. I'm gonna call on our city manager, Emily Beeman. You've got some very special presentations to make, Emily. John and Kathy, can you make your way to the front, please? John said he has a great big speech prepared, so we might have to go a little longer. Tonight. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> right here. <clears throat> These two individuals um, have put in many years of service with the city of Tifton. Um, both of them have done great things for us since they've been here. Um, this past month, uh, Friday actually was Kathy's last day and John's last day was last month. So I'm proud that they're here and we're happy to honor them and their service and commitment to the city of Tifton. I will start with Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy, I'm sorry you had to put up with Chief Hyman for a few years. He finally heard my name. That's <laughs> that deserves combat pay or something. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> well, I will call you Kathy. <laughs> Miss Kathy, you've been with us for 12 years as a records clerk in the Tifton Police Department. Um, you have very strong relationships with our officers. I know they're going to be missed as well as we'll miss you from being here. Um, she was hired in 2010 as a records clerk and had the commitment and dedication to continue that out for 12 years. So, Miss Kathy, I'm going to give you a plaque, and on this plaque, um, we recognize your years of service, and it says loyal and dedicated employees like you are the foundation to successful organization and teams. The city of Tipton is thankful for your contribution to our success, and we certainly wouldn't be successful without what you've done for us. Thank you. You are very you welcome. Good deal. we get the mic for John? Yeah. <laughs> John, uh, the chief let me know a little bit ago that um, he is not a public speaker and he does not want to speak. Is that right? John has been with us for 24 years. He is retiring from the fire service this year and um, he's not just sitting at home. He's staying extremely busy. For the past 24 years, this is the life that John has known is the fire service um, with the family at the fire department. Um, he has come up through the ranks from being um, a firefighter one to an engineer, and he will retire as a lieutenant, which he was put into place in 2017. He was hired in 1998, and he is glad to be up here and to see the end of the road. John, we thank you for everything you, we, that you've done for us, for the city of Tifton, and for your family at the fire department. Um, to, your, to both of your families who've shared you with us through all these years, the good and well, we know there's not very many bad times. <laughs> so, um, John, I'm going to be able to give you the same um, plaque of dedicated service that I gave to Kathy. I won't go through and read it again, but I certainly appreciate all that you've done, and you, you guys will certainly be missed. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. John and Kathy, we, and to your families, we greatly appreciate the work that you've done. Retirements are kind of an odd thing. They're, they're happy and they're sad at the same time. So we just wish you much success and much happiness in your retirement, and thank you for your service to the city of Tifton. All right, the next item we have on our agenda, um, I had, have had several conversations with Jordan Pope, local resident, who has um, expressed great frustration with the homeless situation in Tifton. And um, has, um, 
He shared with me some things that uh, were greatly disturbing to me that um, I wanted him to come and share with the council uh, as far as um, some, some plans that some locals have regarding um, homelessness in this community and they're not very positive. So I had asked him to come and share that. Well, he called a little while ago and said he could not be at the meeting tonight. So um, I've asked him to come to our next meeting. Um, I've also had conversations with our city attorney with our police chief, with our city manager. We know that there is a homelessness issue in this community, but at the same time, um, I think that we as elected officials, as local leadership, um, one need to address it and deal with it, but we also need to do it with respect and compassion. And that's something that's very important to me. We have taken um, uh, and created a resolution of civility um, we have a code of conduct and how we treat ourselves and others. And so uh, as we continue to have discussions about homelessness and the concerns that these um, people face in our community and that our community faces with people who are homeless, um, I hope that we can address it that way and be very compassionate and caring and, and of, you know, of concern. So, um, so we'll hear from Mr. Pope at the, uh, at the regular meeting, hopefully on the 17th. Um, the next item is some, uh, we've got several items of new business to discuss this evening. So I'm gonna call on Jeff. Jeff, you want to talk about the review of the bids for the natural gas main improvements to serve the Orgel's new facility? Good evening. On uh, March the 8th of 2023, we uh, had a bid opening for the natural gas improvements to for a gas main to serve the new uh, Orgel building out there at the industrial park. Uh, I don't know if anybody ever, here has ever seen an 850,000 square foot warehouse, but <laughs> I, I, I hadn't ever seen a slab that big. I went out there uh, Friday. It's huge, but uh, we did have the bid opening. The low bidder was uh, Classic City Mechanical, and the low bid was $89,183. Uh, Stacy Watkins reviewed it with me, and we we're both recommending to go with that bid. Okay. That is a great expansion for this community. Oracle was looking at potentially relocating um, through the efforts of the uh, Tiff County Development Authority. They have decided to stay in Tifton and build this new facility, adding jobs, adding to the local economy. So it's really an important project and really good project. I'm really proud that the city is able to partner on this to provide utilities and, and the services that we need to provide to, uh, to keep those jobs right here and keep them local. So any questions concerning that uh, bid on the natural gas line? Good, okay. All right, I think that's got it, Jeff, thank you. All right, Jessica, we've got the resolution designating the Arts in Black as a festival. Is there anything special? It's, I think it's pretty typical, it looked like, um, of the festival designations. Last year, y'all um, granted them to be considered a festival to allow for alcohol sales, and they're requesting the same thing um, this year. Their event is held the first weekend in March. May. Um, and they just submitted that request again, if y'all would allow them to uh, do alcohol sales. They're only, I think their event is Friday and Saturday, but they just requested it um, on the Saturday. Okay, and um, Savor the Flavor will be providing that catering. Yes. Okay. and that's a local caterer that has alcohol um, license here in town. Right. And Rock the Block is the same, same request. Okay. Um, the Great Race is coming back to Tifton. That's a very large, um, exciting event. It's going to be held in June, and they're coordinating it with Rock the Block. So the same thing, they'll close Main Street and First Street, have music, and um, the drive-in from the Great Race will also come into town that night. So they all, uh, the Tourism Association is also requesting alcohol during that event time. Okay, and those um, that information's in our packet. So. Any questions, gentlemen, on, um, on those, those special mm -hmm. events? Okay, very good. All right, our next item uh, is to review the proposed amendment for the city's purchasing and purchasing card policies. So I'll call on Larry to present that information. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, the Finance Department, we've been reviewing policies that were established five, 10 years ago and through subsequent changes, things changing, software changes, personnel changes, and so forth. And uh, on the purchasing policy we went through and the, the table of contents was off, so we've corrected that. Uh, we've added purchasing sources to include state and federal contract as well as cooperative purchasing organizations. Uh, and we've 
added language to encourage using purchase cards for small purchases instead of doing a purchase order mm -hmm. for that. Uh, approved sources for acquiring surplus property have been added. Uh, requisition process has been revised. Just a few minor changes. We've highlighted the changes in the policy there for you to review, just our recommendation on that. Uh, and then on the uh, purchasing card, we also revised that with changed banks on that, so uh, changed software also. So uh, the previous policy was more like a operations manual. This is more of policy mm -hmm. here on using the purchase card. So uh, the user's manual would just be something we'll train each department on how to use that. So this is just the policy. So this is on that. So uh, just our recommendation on that. So up to your review and approval. Okay. Does anyone have any questions on those proposed changes? Like Larry said, they're in yellow in our, in our packet, so they're pretty easy to spot the, uh, the additions or, or the deletions in, in, the, um, in the policy. All right, um, since there's no questions, you want to go ahead and uh, work through the city's travel policy too? Yeah, uh, we also reviewed the city travel policy and, of course, corrected the table of contents. Uh, added a section in there addressing council travel and uh, including a preliminary list of pre-approved travel items. That's something that uh, GMA recommends that all travel be approved, mm -hmm. pre-approved, so we're trying to make it easier. Just any GMA event is already approved with this travel mm -hmm. policy, sure. okay. so you won't have to get it approved again. It's already approved in this policy, gotcha. so okay. I think that will make it easier, but it's up to your approval but i think it would make it easier right okay. to do it that way okay and Any, you know if there was some other event it would have to be approved but right the gma okay. events would but automatically, automatically be, be approved, approved. okay so. um i know we had talked about the possibility of attending the national league conference that's going to be in atlanta um are we kind of working budgeting for that so we just need to approve that when we get those get that set then from the budget okay okay all right, any questions, gentlemen? Does that make and sense? And then also we took out foreign travel. We didn't see anybody traveling to oh, foreign shucks. lands. There goes well, my, okay. So, uh, I, I you know, we that's something that's a, subject to approval. I thought going to be in Italy. I don't, yes. Yeah, if you did <laughs> want to go out of the country, you could, yeah. you could have that approved in a separate. Oh, well, we'll have to, we'll have to approve it. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> and also there was per diem rates in the policy, and they changed. So we're suggesting just go to the GSA website and get those rates as okay. they change. Sure. So uh, that would keep that from changing all the time. So okay. that's pretty much all the changes on the travel policy. Okay. All right. Any questions, gentlemen, on that? Any comments, suggestions? All right. And uh, then we've got a surplus property policy. We don't have one, and we've got a plethora of equipment just sitting around that we need to deal with. And this is basically given the city manager authority through gov deals, which uh, Rob added that in the policy there. I think y'all got a revised copy of that. Mm -hmm. uh, so Rob reviewed this, and uh, that was his suggestion to add that one line okay. there. But that would help us move some of this sure. equipment that's just sitting there. So, um, Is there any plan to do the sale like we did before out at the complex, anything what, like that? We could do that. Um, what we would like to do is move towards gov deals, which allows us to sell this one off online. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we, would, we wouldn't we would have a bunch of cars sitting at the complex yeah. or whatever it may be. Um, probably the first thing we would need to do is maybe do a surplus sale just to eliminate a lot of it, but we we would want to go forward with just having enough to put on gov deals, onesies and twosies, instead of having sure. sitting on a lot of stuff. Yeah. The only thing in the policy um, that the city manager cannot approve sale of is real property for real estate purposes. Right. That would be the council's approval. Yes. Yeah. Well, we've had several surplus sales. Yeah. I mean, I, Jeff and the guys out there have sold almost every year. Or yeah. Year. I think there was one a year and a half ago. Yeah, I thought we did it maybe during city government week. It was week. a while back. Yeah. Maybe two years ago. Yeah. It's been a while. Okay. So I guess what's, I guess when you had that, what's, What's changed, or is this well, we didn't have formalizing a, it? Or? We didn't have a policy um, for surplus, so we needed to put one in place. Um, right now, we have a few departments that use gov deals. We have a few departments that do surplus. We have a few departments that don't do anything. So this would put a process in place to formalize that. Was well, this going to change what we do with the? I mean, they they've got a lot of the equipment out there. 
right? No, it wouldn't clean your room. No. It would clean up their parking lot is what it would do. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll help us move faster with get rid of some of this equipment. So it doesn't need to sit there forever. Yeah, you're right. Well, except, I mean, isn't that as simple as okay? Every six months or every year we we have a surplus sale. I mean, that, well, we kind of lot. determine. It's all got to be cataloged and yeah. yeah. Well, we determine how how much sits you know, how long it yeah. sits. I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it, it, we'll take the time to look through this, and if you've got any questions or concerns or anything we can you know we can address that at the council meeting so um, it's just like Emily said to create some kind of kind of you know standard procedures so okay any questions of uh, Larry concerning those potential policy changes okay all right thank you Larry all right um, the next item is the finance committee appointment do I need to do this tonight Jessica or would that be at the regular council meeting I was thinking I was gonna do that at the regular council meeting was it tonight yeah let's just do that I'll do that next time when we're voting so everybody can vote um, all right city manager report Emily what you got for us just a few things um, I'm glad Abby's here we got word today that we um, received our gym designation for Main Street once Yay. again so kudos Congratulations. to her and Hillary um, that's a lot of reporting and behind the scenes and keeping up with a lot of things um, it's an honor to be a gym have a gym's designation um, you could be a classic Main Street or you could be gyms which is Georgia exceptional Main Street program um, so we are glad to flaunt that title and Abby has a lot of hard work that goes in behind the scenes so good job there um, Georgia Power and EnviroSpark Enviro came out um, about two weeks ago to meet with Jonathan uh, for the pedestals that will go across from Commerce Way for the electric vehicle charging stations. They will be starting on that any day. ESG has went out and removed some of the bushes so they can place the pedestals out, so we're looking forward to that. Um, an update at the park, we are about 55% done um, with the updates to the security at the park. All the boring and wiring has went into the ground. It's just a matter of putting the cameras up, getting everything connected and on our system now. So about 55% of that is done. And then I always like to brag on employees. Uh, Sparky Lamb, who is our chief building official and our community development director, he was recently appointed to MGIA, which is Middle Georgia Inspectors Association. So I'm always glad to see an employee who is representing Tifton across the state. Mm -hmm. So that's always a great thing. And that's all I got. Um, on the Main Street designation and on Sparky's appointment, are those things that Melissa could do a press release on yes. so we can get that They're information? In the works. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right, gentlemen, any questions of Emily on her report? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Keep up that good work. That's awesome. All right, we are uh, at Mayor and Council comments. And Rob, will we need executive session this evening yes. for legal? Yes. Okay. All right. Anybody want to start the conversation on Mayor and Council comments? No, no comments. No mayor. comments? We're going to leave it all to you. I'm good tonight. You're good? Yeah, no comments. I might as well make that almost unanimous depending on you. Well, I have a 35-minute dissertation. No, I have no comments either. So we'll, <laughs> we'll jump right into executive session we'll take just a quick break i'll need a motion to go into executive session make a, a motion second. okay so we have a motion a second all those in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. any opposed all right take a quick break and then